<laughs> too. Can you do the reenactment again, too? <laughs> Me? Yeah, it was you. Yeah. Yeah, that's terrifying. No, it's terrifying. But be so, this is a strong home. So, we, we were talking about just before the case file of okay, well, why only three? Like, if you were to grab someone and like really try and like pull your way or grab the carpet or grab the counter to try and like pull yourself away and you broke those tips off, why just three? Why not four? Like, why? Or, like, but he had his. What one side it had severed tendons. The cuts were so deep that actually. Mm-hmm. So, and even if you, the tendons weren't severed, having that deep of like just deep cuts on your wrist, I think would affect just nerves and just the way you would use your hands Listen, in general. Not even ner- let's let, let's not even talk about nerves. Let's just talk about fucking pain. Okay, there's no Vicodin on the enough Vic- Vicodin on the planet that would leave you conscious to be able to literally slash your arm. Like, here's the thing, right? So, as somebody who's been to s- s- Exact situations as this. I've never seen, like, we're not going to show it. If you're curious and you want to look it up, go for it because the pictures are unfortunately available. They're horrifying. Graphic. This man massacred his arms from his wrist to his elbow. Okay. Both it's, arms. Qu- it's quite, and, it's quite unbelievable. And, like, I've, I've it. done, I can't even count how many of these that I've been to. I've never, ever seen lacerations this deep and this hard in a suicide. The only time I've ever seen anything close to this is when somebody is literally high on PCP or meth and like mutilating themselves. This like he massacred his arms and you're going to tell me that he's he he went and did three slices on one side and still had the strength to do eight on the other. And he used like a razor blade, like one of those little inch and a half blades. Right. So which would be so to so grab hard that. to keep. Oh, yeah, it's so you have hard to, to keep a grip. It's not like you, he had like a large in the bathtub. He's yeah. It's not. It's There's not like he had like everywhere. a. He didn't do it with a razor sharp knife where you could like manip, like use leverage to do it. He had, would have had to do it with force, like push in. He would have had an ang- Yeah, he would have had a really. So this man, this man who's squeamish with blood, massacres each of his arms in a pool of water, which then would turn the water into blood which he's terrified of and that's the way he chooses to die and then what and to get back to my point of he so he he loses three fingertips if there was a struggle because it does say he has a bruise on his arm and his head so either someone grabbed him threw him down or whatever if he if he was fighting back and he had his wrist cuts and in the last ditch effort to protect himself maybe his hand his tendons are cut so maybe his he's not reaching with like a strength like a strong fist or strong grasp well, he wouldn't maybe only has to the pain it just seems, would be oh, the pain would be just, oh. and see the other thing that popped into my head too is that Zell, what you said is like say you kind of mentioned earlier that like if it was a defense rune you know clawed someone maybe someone cut those tips off Right, and then I was thinking because I was like, well, why would why would they only cut if he scratched and they were worried about DNA, trace DNA under the fingernails? Which, to be honest, I'm not well versed if they were testing for that at this point in time in the 90s if that was a thing. But if they were, absolutely, absolutely. Okay, so then maybe maybe let's. I'm just saying hypothetically, this is where my mind's going. Maybe someone there started to cut those nails, and someone went, "What the fuck are you doing? Stop!" Don't don't cut any more nails. That's gonna be too obvious. Just leave it. Yeah. Right. We can scrape underneath. Why are you giving this guy right? a fucking like, manicure? Let's go. And the, but but the reason the reason why I think about that like that uh, that aspect of like maybe someone making that kind of slip up, trying to clean things up, we'll kind of touch on in a little bit with some other things that may be out of place in the room. So so. Maybe 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 his fingertips were removed is what you're saying because maybe of DNA. Par- partially yeah yeah so despite despite the second autopsy and all the abnormalities that have come forth they still go with the initial diagnosis of suicide all right they say that he died between seven and eight a.m. on August the tenth so about five to six hours before he was found one super interesting thing though that they did find out during that op- autopsy is it was also concluded that. Danny was in the early stages of MS. Really? Yeah. So MS is like which a neurological which, disease, right? Yeah, Multiple sclerosis. Is that where you get the curve back? <laughs> That's scoliosis. That's scoliosis. Right? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Close. 
It's a, so MS is a disease. It's, like it's, a, a immu- it's a problem with like your immune system basically turns on itself. Uh, like your immune system starts attacking healthy functioning organs. Oh, it's, a, okay. it's a disabling disease of the brain and spinal cord. Yeah, you get like brain sclerosis. lesions and it's awful. It's not. It's it's people survive it often, but it's a can be very debilitating disease. It, um, another like another really weird thing, a little bit off topic is the fact like can, Canada's MS rates are fucking higher than anywhere else in the world. Yeah, isn't that a weird? Isn't that a weird stat? Yeah, that bizarre. is a weird stat. Do we drink more uh, aspartame drinks than anyone else? Hey, listen, I just I, – Huberman Lab, listen to it. It's great. He ba- They basically – two scientists, him and um, – Andrew Huberman and uh, Lane Norton basically disproved the fact that artificial sweeteners really have any negative effects nope. to you. Just so no one really good, So no one really knows I, why. I crush Coke Zero like none yeah. other. The, that, uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, aspartame studies was only done in mice. I'm not sure. I, I don't yeah, you listen. Don't listen. I don't pussies. want to talk. I don't want to talk about what I don't know. Well, I'm, I'm just. I'm curious of why <laughs> Canada would have a higher rate than America, who has an even worse diet than us. Yeah. And I, if it's some type, of, some type of autoimmune disease, I would imagine some type of diet or something in our food, maybe. It's probably the cold. Oh, I so I was wrong. It doesn't attack your it, your organs. It uh, attacks the protective sheath, your myelin, that covers the nerve fibers and causes communication problems between your brain and the rest of your body. My bad. A and P was a long time ago. It's okay. We'll forgive you. More of patho, so, but still. So he had. So our boy had early signs of MS. Yeah. So we've had this, and I bet I, I, this is just hypothetical, but I'm imagining that we we can we have the ability to treat. I don't know if it's. it's I, we have I don't the, think it's curable. It's not. We have the way of but, like delaying but, onset of symptoms. But w- our our treatability of it is probably better now than it was. It then. is, but it, it's still relatively probably not like, by much. It's, it's not. But here's the th- okay. So we, if we want to get into that, I was going to get into this a little bit later. But you're going to go ahead and tell me that if this guy like we're, we're talking early signs of MS. So I'm he didn't know. I, I, Did I, he I'm know? assuming he didn't know. His dad and his fucking brother are doctors. Do you think if he had any noticeable symptoms, his brother and yeah, his dad would have told them. They would have been like, hey, why? man, this is and not why normal. W- or if he knew, why wouldn't he tell them? You know, he would have had access to, like, probably within a phone call, some of the best help in the world. So now that we have this second autopsy, autopsy they're still ruling it a suicide. Well, they have no other evidence to overturn their So you're right, initial. Zell. They don't have any other evidence. But let's go through... A little bit of controversy surrounding the fucking initial investigation. Because, first of all, they didn't seal off the room as a crime scene. Ever. Ever. At all? Not once. Ever. Okay. Not once. Not once. None of the bath water. So absolutely wild. They never once. They pulled out the tape and he goes, this is a brand new roll. I can't find the no, end. we don't got the. And they went, hey, ah, listen. Forget about cuts. it. Keep the tape. Yeah. Okay. Uh, none of the bath water was saved as evidence. Right? They didn't even sh- they they didn't didn't strain, strain the bath water. They didn't strain water. it. No, listen, could you imagine how much money you could have got of that on social media? Dead guy, bathwater? That shit would have been flying yeah. off the fucking shelves. Anyways. The reason you strain the bathwater, for those who don't know, in these kind of incidents is, is because you, the water is obviously filled with blood. You can't see. So you strain it so that you make sure nothing, no evidence goes down the drain. So nothing if there's anything solid, else yeah. there, you know, it's, it's, it's actually pretty commonplace. Absolutely. That, That's that pretty pra- It's pretty normal practice. And it was then... And then and they just didn't do it. So they just pulled the plug and dra- drain the, the water. Yeah, they did, yeah, drain the water. They did find a second fingerprint underneath an ashtray in the room, and then the kicker of all kickers, because I know Braden's chomping, champing, sorry, champing at the bit to touch on this, is the fact that within a day or two after the scene, I'm pretty sure it was the Sunday, they called a professional cleaning crew. It's the next day. So Sunday. The next day. So on a Sunday, working on God's day, they called a professional cleaning room to come clean this room so they could. We're talking. Help why? I'm, in in fairness to the hotel, they probably had a reservation for Sunday night, right? Well, no, like, absolutely. It's it's right? hey, it's a business, and it's, right? it's a business. We're a business. It's they not the first person. I guarantee you, he's not the first guy to die in the hotel. No, no. Well, and they probably and the cops probably told him like, oh, this is an open shot case. Uh, go for it, like clean it Absolutely. up. Absolutely, it's it's the, it, this falls on the police, not on the hotel. But yes. let's talk. So let's they, talk um, about the professional the professional cleaning company called Les Scrub. Les Scrub. Oh, great name! Mm-hmm. Wow, 
Let's let's Why talk about Braden. Braden, let's. Why don't you take a lead on this? I know you want to talk about it so bad. Well, what I actually what I really wanted to talk about is. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10 minute segments, but here's the next one over here. Or if you want to watch the whole thing uncut and after hours, just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation. You get full access to it on Patreon. Anyways, thanks guys. Enjoy the next video.